Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, International New Artisan Educator. Today we are going to do a beautiful summer design, so you can have a look in here. Yes, so nothing overly too complicated, but something which is going to keep you busy and practicing uh, during this time, so let's start. So you can see those designs uh, are very quick and easy and we have done on the channel those ones before and uh, they have been done with the thread so slightly different technique compared to the chain and these ones are done with the chain so you can see a little bit more those uh, lines where the chain is pulling through like on this corner here and i will show you how to achieve this look so I've got my black uh, tip, they just come in black, but you will just paint your client nails on the black. So I need to buff this one so you could do it straight away into um, a coat of the gel polish and it is going to be actually better because then you don't need as much of the slidey surface. And I'm going to apply a coat of the, of the clear uh, gel polish just so my uh, design is going to spread much nicer so I'm just applying clear on the all nail and then on my mixing palette I'm going to prepare my mixture with the chain so I just had like some new chain and because it was so long and uncomfy to work with I cut it into the smaller pieces and this one is just a perfect size for me so I'm just putting it on my mixing palette and then picking up the colors which we are going to use and that is yellow. I'm just doing the dots. You could also do the dots on the side and actually show you that as well. So we could also do the dots on the side and then just dip in the chain to that. So orange. And then pink again if you pick up the colors try to pick up the colors which mix nice so this way you will get a better results and nicer designs okay and now we are going to do some twisty design so i'm just picking up my thread it's actually a chain and now i'm going to place it on my nail and then slowly start pulling it So it's a very easy design. Now I'm going to pick up another place, slightly different shape, and then start pulling it. And then you can go back and dip in your chain, pick up a little bit more color, and we are going to do another one on the top and slowly pull okay so this way you can see all those chain lines and that gives a pretty nice and effective results i'm going to put it that to the lamp and give it a cure and in the meantime i can show you another one so i'm just taking my tip put it in Put everything on the side just so you don't mess on top of it <laughs> i have actually done it on the white background as well i may show you that too so on the white background it looks slightly different to the uh, black you can see it uh, just to give you a different idea and then i just put a couple of the lines with the white uh, over it so I'm just applying the top coat again and now I'm going to clean my chain so I've got my chain in here that's a wipe with a bit of the blue scrub which is a nail dehydrator and I'm going to clean that and now we are going to dip in into another line of the colors 
So we'll dip that chain in, let it soak the product in. And then once it picks up the product, you can go and do the design. So this time I will go slightly bigger on the top. Okay, much bigger and now I'm slowly going to pull that through if you go too quick you are not going to get a nice results okay so we've got like a wee further part pick up another one And now we are going to pull through opposite way. I can pop it in. It's, that looks actually pretty awesome, <laughs> the part in the middle as well. It looks almost like a peacock feather, just in a slightly different colors. And I can pop it into the lamp. And once your design is cured, like this one here, we can go over with second layer and I think that's what makes this design even more interesting because they are, you can do only so much without of damaging the previous design. So you have to cure it first and then again I would apply the layer of the top coat. Now I will be able to do a second uh, round of the chain design and I think this is um, just much more interesting look. So I'm just cleaning my chain again. And I'm going to dip that in to the colors. So dip that in. Okay, and this one is already cured by the light. I've got so strong lights here. So I'm just going to quickly add a fresh colors. So a pink one. And just a drop of the orange. When we record on the afternoon and like the weather have been so amazing, I actually got an even nice tan. Uh, as you can probably see it on my hands, they're a bit darker than usual. Uh, we spent lots of time in the garden. Oh no, it was so nice. Okay, so this chain is a little bit messy now. But yeah, well, let's see what will come out from that. So I'm just waiting for it to kind of stop it shaking and then place that chain in here and now we are going to pull another design. Okay, so this way we have created a much interesting look rather just a one flat I think I could add easily one more. So I'm just dipping in my chain again. This one is so pretty that I'm scared to damage it. But we do miss something right on the top in here. And that's what we'll do. Like, I don't want to really damage the uh, this one here because it looks awesome. Pop it into the lamp. And then we can swap it with this one here so it will be a time for a round number two for this design again I'm going to clean my chain and do a fresh mixture of the colors so a drop of yellow orange and a pink one Oliver is moving the bedroom upstairs <laughs> you can hear it it's so loud and the drop of the top coat first With the top coat is much uh, easier to blend. So I'm just waiting for my chain to stop. And now I'm going to pull that through. Okay, 
And there we are. We have created another smudgy pull through design. I can put it, pop it into the lamp and then we can top coat it. I think this one uh, turned out as my favorite one and this one as well because you can see the line so much. And as a finish look, you can just go with the top coat and apply the top coat. What else you could do with is a similar thing which we have done for the ones with the thread. Like in here, I have just painted some uh, leaves on top of it and that did exchange those design, like make it even much more nicer, but I didn't want to repeat myself and uh, I thought it will be nicer just to leave it the way it is to show you something slightly different. I can put this one to the lamp and then show you the final results. So they look quite nice as a full set uh, of the needles. And this one is done as well. And the last one which have cured. And I do hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see on this channel. And if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much guys for watching. Glittery hugs and bye for now.